Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna make prosciutto and I'll be showing you step by step how to prepare prosciutto. First of all, you need to ask your butcher to prepare a leg of pork in shape of the prosciutto, as you can see here. Once you take it at home, you start getting it ready for salting. So what we do is, first of all, you dry all the blood, and you've got to be very, very careful to get as much blood out as you can. I will show you how. So you put your hand on the top of the leg and you squeeze the blood out. As you can see, the blood, as it comes out, you, you dry it. So there's one here and one further down. I will show you now. And the top. You need to dry all the blood. You massage it a little bit and you do that all over again. Make sure there's no blood. You can see. So you dry it. Second step. I have here salt, just plain cooking salt, mixed with black pepper. So, we start from the bottom. And you rub the salt onto the skin. You need to make sure that you put lots of salt on top where the, the food comes off. So you need to make sure you put a lot of salt. Very, very important. Then you put salt Make sure you put plenty of salt where the bone is Try to ma massage it in Now a lot of people, they take the leg of pork, take it home, they put it in a container, they put lots of salt on top, they, they, don't, they don't even massage it, they just put salt on it and they leave it in a container for two, three weeks, four weeks, a lot of people don't know how to do it. I'll tell you, you need to massage the salt
You don't have to wipe the salt or the pepper, you can put as much as you want. So I'll tell you the secret to it. A lot of people don't know. You need to massage the leg every two days. You repeat the same thing every two days. Massage and salt. There's no need to cover the whole leg with salt like most people do because the end result is all they're going to be eating is just salt. No meat. It's too salty. As you can see, it's already starting to change colour. Keep on massaging the skin. Then your salt. See what I'm doing? You need to massage, especially on the skin, so the salt penetrates the skin. <clears throat> As you can, if you come closer, you can see the salt is already melted, so there's no salt there. Every massage, you know, the salt melts away. Another little trick I'll show you that a lot of people don't know. So I'll show you a little trick to it. I made a, a small incision here. This is where the joint is. So what we do, we add, put salt through it every couple of days. So the salt will penetrate through the joint. So the meat will one go off. Will cure it with the liquid. If there's any liquid, will disappear. And you just keep on massaging all the time. You put in as much salt as you want, salt and pepper. The reason why I put pepper on my prosciutto is not straight salt, is as, as the salt penetrates the meat when I'm massaging it. You, when you, once the prosciutto is ready to cut, uh, and when you slice it, you can taste a bit of the pepper. It gives you a nice flavor. Not, so it's not just salt that's going through the meat. Try to massage it as much as you can. I'm trying to loosen up as much as I can. This is the meat. Drying, it, it sort of gets more solid. So the more you massage it, the better it is for the salt to go through and penetrate through the meat. And very important to rub the skin as much as you can. Where the bone is very important. So you do this every two days, and you do 
this for 21 days. But this is a pretty good size leg. Um, a smaller leg you can do it 14 days, but the size of this leg, 21 days. But you need to massage it every two days. You don't want it to get too salty. But if you get all the salt and you cover the whole thing in salt, which is not right. It's the wrong way of doing it. A lot of people do it, even though it's salty, or sometimes it doesn't turn it, it doesn't turn out, you, you gotta throw it away. But this is the right way of doing it. I've been doing this for years. Two years ago, that I've actually cut one prosciutto and we posted a few pictures on it. Um, so, sometimes it could happen that the prosciutto, the, the way I'm doing it, it doesn't turn out right, which is unlikely. But I put all my expertise of doing it, and uh, they all turn out to be good prosciutto. And it's done the natural way. There's no preservatives, there's no Chemicals, it's done the old fashioned way. That's how the old people used to do it. It takes 10 months before you can cut it. Depending on the size of the leg, sometimes it could take less, sometimes it could take a little bit more. But the end result, you know that you've done the prosciutto, you've done it yourself, you've done it the right way, you got a professional to show you how to do it. Uh, so I think we've done enough for today. In a few weeks I will post another video to show you how is the prosciutto is progressing and we we'll see the difference the way we got doing it now today and two, three weeks, we'll post another video and we'll show you how it's going. Thank you for watching a Master Giuseppe video. Please press the like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.